Hi guys, here is a quick demo on how to form HTTP requests and send them out using Telnet. Um, this shows you that HTTP uh, has these kind of verbose packets that you can in fact type out yourselves. So what I have here is a terminal window, instructions from your book, and the Wireshark network analyzer, uh, which you will use in your labs. So what I'm going to do is connect to Wi-Fi which is the interface that I'm using to connect to the internet. Now, you see that there's all kinds of traffic being sent and received by my computer. I'm not particularly interested in all of it, so I can just set up a filter to watch HTTP traffic, which um, nothing's being sent on HTTP right now. So, what I'm going to do is use Telnet to connect to gaia.cs.ums.edu, on port 80, which is the standard port for HTTP requests. Okay, so I do that here. Um, and now I can form the HTTP request, copy that in here. Okay, and we have a get, we have the resource we're requesting, we have the protocol we're going to be using, and I need to specify the host. Now I press enter twice to finish the packet. Okay, and you see that um, the packet was sent and that we received a reply. Now let's see what's going on in the traffic um, by viewing the traffic in the analyzer. So we have the get request and we have the reply which is HTTP 200 OK which um, contains the contents of the reply which is this HTML page that was returned by the server that if this request was made by the browser, now this HTTP can be rendered by the browser. All right, so let's look at this get. Um, we have, unsurprisingly, different stacks of the protocol. So we have the application layer, which is hypertext transfer protocol. We have TCP, which is the transport layer. We have IP, which is the uh, network layer. We have uh, Ethernet, which is the link layer. And then we have um, the frame, which is what's being sent to the physical layer. So if you look at the whole packet, you see that this is the frame that was sent. This is the Ethernet portion of bytes. Uh, this is IP. This is TCP. Um, and then here's the contents of the, of the message, which you can see is the get. Okay, so you can open this up. Um, and you can see that the get requests is to Gaia. It's got a return. Um, and you can look at it in more detail where we have the get. Um, and it kind of breaks it down into HTTP fields of get, URI, uh, request version, and then the host, and then the double escape line. Okay? So Wireshark can kind of look at your packets and break them down into the different fields. And then likewise, we can look at the OK packet. HTTP is already opened. And so you see the HTTP 1.1, 200 OK, response version, status code. Um, and then you have um, other kinds of stuff that doesn't interest us, though it's part of the HTTP reply, for example, content type. Um, and then you have the request that's coming back and... Um, Let's see, there's the data. Okay, I guess it's, um, all right, here, if we open this up, it shows you the actual contents of the packet um, being sent back or the contents of the reply, which is this um, HTML. All right, so here's a, just a very quick overview of how you can kind of roll your own HTTP packets, send them, get a reply, and then use Wireshark to observe what happens.